Hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf here, one only, and today we're going to be playing Dungeon Rushers. This game is made by Goblin Studios. If you guys have been in my Twitch stream before, we have played a game of theirs, which is uh, Robo Theorem, which was actually really fun. I ended up playing for eight hours straight, and it's actually pretty addicting. And we're going to be trying out their game, well, one of their first games that I have played and actually really enjoyed off of a demo that I wasn't able to upload to the channel because I think I screwed up the video or there was something wrong with it. And it just wouldn't feel natural if I were to make another one. But now I'm gonna revisit it and we're gonna see how it is. This is the full game, by the way, because they were so nice to send me an actual uh, key to the full game. So that's exactly what we're gonna be playing here, which I am happy and excited to do because this game was actually pretty fun when I played it in a demo. So let's get into it and see how it is. They are, they're also working on a new game that is actually piquing my interest right now. Like highly piquing my interest. Um, oh yeah, here it is. Legend of Keepers is basically where you use monsters to fight humans and defend your dungeon. It's actually pretty sick for what I see. That's at least the information I know of. Um, where do I go here? Oh, campaign? Oh, it definitely looks like way different from um from the demo. Cause usually it wasn't like that. It was like um Hmm. How do I explain? Like there was like a different HUD, let's just say that. Okay. Okay, I remember this. We just go through the dungeon. I'm telling you not to cut it not to Yeah. I'm telling you you're not cut out to be an adventurer. You would do fine work as a 12th thing. Rude? Enough of that. I, I want the high life. Glory. Gold. Girls. Don't we all, dude? Don't we all? <laughs> oh, really? So what are you waiting for? Are you going? I'm... Refraining my strategy. Uh, yeah, dude. Refine your strategy. That's, that's exactly what we need. You know, we got to think of all the strategy we need. How dare you call us a coward? We're, we're not a coward. We're going in. What? No one? I mean, no one gets <laughs> to call me a coward. I'm off. Shame. You were a good... <laughs> you were a good boy at heart. Ah, oh, dude. Why? I am totally cut out for adventurer boss. Or employer. Wait, is the poor our boss? I have no idea. Now I'm confused. Uh, we definitely will be playing more of this on the stream. I just wanted to make a video out of it first. So basically how it goes is you go through these uh, little uh, pathways. As the game goes further and further, I'm pretty sure you get the mazes like get bigger and bigger to where you have to fight through the labyrinth. And you get like more different characters as you go. If only I could somehow sneak by and avoid a fight. Avoid me? I could hear you coming from a mile away. You'll need the right ability if you want to avoid a fight. You'd better flee, kid. It's dangerous here. Flee? Never. Prepare to fight, unholy creature. Oh my bone. He's charging at me. <laughs> Oh my bone, okay. <laughs> Alright, so we got fighter information, we got our turn order, we got history of, I guess, see how much damage we did. And what skills were used. Uh, and that's pretty much it. So, pretty much how this works is that you do have a mana cost for like, uh, abilities. And you have stamina for other things, for like actions outside of the dungeon, I believe. I'm just trying to remember everything that I can for when I last played the demo. But then again, everything could have changed, so... You know what, I'm just going to go with it, not try to explain too much, unless I know what it is. Alright, so where's my bag? Do I click... Uh, okay. Click on my character right click. 
Oh yeah, so here's the rest of the skills. Yeah, I was right, okay. So yeah, these are the costs outside of the battle. These pretty much reveal any range, well anything from range, this disable traps. That's at least what this character does. Alright, so what's going on in here? Oh, whoops. Um, it opens Steam. What is this? Oh, it's a veteran pack. It costs $2. Okay. So I'm guessing you get a pack of whole skins. Is this a different one? Or is this... Okay, so all of them have different skins. That's what it is. Okay. Oh, I like this pirate skin. Uh, is this one free or something? Because it goes into shop and it doesn't pop up anything. Okay, I guess that one's not available. I guess it was like available limited time or something. Okay, so we have no talent points, but this is what you can build into. You can either build into your basic attack, your archer ability that can hit enemies in the back. I know that. And this is your passives. Well, I'm pretty sure you can get passes from, like, anywhere. Immune to weakness sounds nice. Let's go this way. Oh, yeah. There's bad debuffs and there are good debuffs, too. And they last pretty much a few battles, I think. Another skeleton. A kid pretending to be an adventurer again. It's not a place to play here. It's not a place to play here. Okay, yeah, I just did all right. I was just making sure to cover my tracks. Let me quietly haunt this place. Save your breath. I mean, your butt. How can you talk, by the way? Anyway, anyway, doesn't matter. Die again. Seriously. Does rest in peace ring the bell to you? <laughs> no, not to us. We're adventurers. So this is the little buff that we had got. Uh, you can see it's magic resist. But we are not really dealing with magic right now. It says it does 7 damage, but he probably has that shield which reduces it by 2. So yeah, enemies have deep... Ah, not deep buff, uh, armor, gears, stuff like that. Oh dear god. The skeleton again? But this one seems different somehow. It must be a boss of this place. Manager, actually. So it was you who's been causing all the fuss around here. Do you know how much trouble you've caused? I'm doing... I'm going to have to submit a report to the management and kill you, of course. You think you can scare me? Oh, oh, oh rude. Well then, I'll teach you to have respect for the dead. Aw, uh -uh. show me then. Alright, so this is how we learn to use our archer ability, I'm pretty sure. There we go. Alright, so now we gotta use a potion. Drink. As you can see, pretty simple gameplay. And pretty fun, to be honest. Oh, strength gain. Uh, did we explore the rest of the dungeon, or is there something else we're missing? Oh, we beat all our challenges, too. There are challenges down here that you can complete for bonus rewards. Oh, yeah, we're definitely missing an area. Oh, it's right here. Okay, I didn't see that at first. Get the treasure and leave. If anything, you could explore the rest of the dungeon for, like, extra loot, you know? Seeing if anything else was there. Alright, this this map still looks the same, I think. Nah. Okay. Nah, this is way different, I think. God, it's been a while. I will put the link to the demo and uh, well, I don't think you can access the demo anymore now that I think about it. At least that I know of. 
but just in case I'll leave a link down to the demo and the Steam page. But I, what is this place? This can't be right. I must have made some mistake. Hmm. Hey, mister. What's a tavern doing in the supposedly abandoned dungeon? And keeper. He's just chilling down here in a dungeon. Isn't it obvious? We're here to serve drinks. You should give them a try, kid. I don't like tourists who come in and don't buy anything. To be honest, I was planning on investigating this dungeon to fill my pockets. No one told me it would already be explored. Well, it hasn't been. The first adventurers that discovered this place thought that it might be a, more of a profit to set up a tavern. Here instead of searching for a little treasure might be found. So you're telling me that there might still be some treasure somewhere in this place? I'm gonna look for it. Maybe I'll be retired sooner than planned. You're optimistic. Lots of newly admitted adventurers have gone before you and were never seen again. That's why this place never going. That's why this place is never going to be cleaned out. This dungeon. Think of it as a natural selection. Those in the know understand that there's nothing here but beer. The others die in the galleries for a few measly coins. In short, you got no chance on your own. True. Come with me. You seem like a seasoned adventurer. Don't you want to find out what else might be hiding in this place? I'm not an adventurer. I'm a Thorgrim? 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 Something like that? Thorgrim? I want to say that. <laughs> the best I can in, in, uh, account it? What? So you're accounted. Carrying a warhammer and wear armor. It's a dangerous profession, don't you know? I need an accountant. I promise I'll pay you if you come with me. Even if you just come take a look. Work? I suppose I don't really have a choice then. Don't worry, we'll be rich by the time we get out of here. Hey, don't forget to pay me before you leave. Run, kid. Oh, that's fucked up. <laughs> but the thing is, I'm going to start reading in my head a little bit and, you know, commentating on the... Uh, commentate on the story instead, because it is going to take me a while to read that stuff, because... Yeah... My, my tongue doesn't work with me today. Alright, you're out. Seems like he... Does he have a lot more HP than us? I wonder. Yeah, he does. So he's pretty much our... Tank. If I remember correctly, that guy was crowd control too. Like, with stuns and everything. Can I expect him? Okay, so we can see his stats and see what he's mostly resistant to. So he's not resistant to our physical attacks, so we're going to be doing our full damage of 7 off of our um, Hunter character. Fallen Skeleton comes back to life. That's only if he has the mana for it. So he has the mana, so he can bring back a teammate, so he doesn't have it. He has a chance to apply Burn with a 50% chance. He has Speed. Okay. He is immune to bleed and armor break. Okay, noted. So like I said, a little bit of strats here and there. Oh no. Uh, yeah, you guys stepped into a trap, dude.
Wait. Okay. So you can either do two things. You can trigger it with him, our tank, or you can disable it, which what we'll do. No, you don't get anything for disabling it either, unfortunately. You would think you would get some parts for disabling a trap. <laughs> so what does this guy got? He got armor break and he has a jump attack. He has a lot of armor versus us. But he, this guy has a stun. And I think this is magic damage. Oh, he didn't stun. Oh no. Heal. Heal. Let's see if we can try to stun again. There we go. A few coins and a bit of hate. Ah, uh, yep, that is that is not a good place to be. Over a thousand, over two thousand. Jeez, dude, you're on a debt for sure. See, guys, that's what happens when you when you drink a lot. You get drunk and don't pay your tabs. Tis, tis, tis. Now we're going to explore the rest. There's one more place that we haven't done. Okay, so we got this guy to fight now. So here's something you can do. Completely hit the back. Stun this guy. He skipped this turn. Hit him again. Now he can't revive this guy. We didn't even see what this guy has. Oh, he just has a sword attack. A little bit of defense. Do we see our stats? Yes, we can. So that's all that stuff there. Ow. Get out of here. So we're level two now. So now we're going to go into our talents and see what's up. So I can add in an extra attack and go to poison. Or we can go to weakness. But I'm pretty sure there's some enemies that are immune to poison. Which could be an issue. But I feel like weakness would be better just because we use no mana. This uses a uh, mana or gains us mana. Hold up. Oh, yeah. Okay. This gains us mana, actually. So poison would probably be the best thing to grab here. As for weakness, it does nothing. Reduce the. Okay, so this. Huh. So this is an actual skill. This is not. I also want to increase this later. I go into this. Oh, wait. What was that? Okay, so that's the scepter. This, this is what we're going to give to him. Just to give him a little bit more mana and stuff. Hello, stranger. Hello, what are you doing here? This is a selfish vendor, but I... This is a selfish vendor day. If you can help. So I give him a potion?
Thanks for the potion, dude. I don't know if... If we should have took that, but alright. He's gonna be like, oh, you owe me later. I'm gonna be like, dude, nah, 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 we're good. <laughs> so there is shop, but you can only unlock it through, like, doing more ventures. So I'm gonna try and get there to that point, and I'll meet up back with you guys in a few seconds. Just to show off a little bit more of the game. Right, guys we're finally made it to the shop this is where you pretty much buy your loot sell your stuff and where you can gamble to win things apparently well, we got a magic bone I don't know what that's for I can see what skins that you can see all the characters they have available as well so yeah some pretty unique things that you guys can actually see Still not so sure about the pirate thing. I don't think those... Yeah, the pirate pack does not exist anymore. Apparently. Which is unfortunate. So, now we have shop open to us. I'm pretty sure Workshop was crafting different gears. Tavern is where you can find matchmaking, I guess. Like different matches with your friends. At least I think so. Alright, let's go wait. Another one. I'm gonna go ahead and pass forward through this one as well. And we're gonna try and get to a little bit more of it before we end off. We made it to the end of this dungeon and we met a character called Pod, which I'm pretty sure is the bard and like buffer to our party. So he pretty much gives us heals. So far we had like a huge completion. So now we have new items inside of the shop now. So it refreshes every adventure I believe. Or at least every like new dungeon we do. You can even buy gears in here if you need to. Nah, we're not going to grab that. Uh, arena is what it says. It's just arena. Work site. Um, oh, I think it's... Um, wait, hold up. 
because there was something that they did. Holy crap, what was it? I'm trying to remember. Hmm. Oh yeah, it was Make Your Own Dungeon. I think that's what it was. At least that's what I'm guessing it was. So you can go down here and get a healing. So I'm going to go that way. But I know I can't explain everything, so I'm going to end it off with this last dungeon run. And I'll let you guys explore the game if you guys are actually interested. I can highly recommend it because this is actually a really fun game. Pod is kind of weird, but you know, everybody's weird in their own way. <laughs> Let's get rid of that. We can take this and get our heal gen. I just got an achievement. Ah, yeah, we're gonna fight this guy. Gonna spin like a Beyblade. And we do have armor to all, we have silence to all, and we have. Something that just harms enemies. Uh, so we can. Oh, we harm their. Um, both them and their. Mana. So now this guy can't revive at all. If I was to kill somebody. Feels bad, dude. Feels bad. Get out of here. You know, we took a lot more damage than I would have loved to admit. So in this dungeon, we need to slay all monsters and completely reveal the dungeon and inspect all the events. Ah, no poison, though. Should be able to kill, though. There we go. I got loot from him. Let's go this way. Ah, nothing. What's up here? Oh dear god, no. Yeah, you'll be fine. You can take that. You're a tank, dude. You, that that's your that's your role. <laughs> Just sacrificing our teammates. Nothing wrong with that. some armor. Hit you with that. Outer got um uh... screw it. Try stun. Says nothing about us not being able to use HP, so we're just gonna heal. Dude, you and your burn damage. Stop it. Okay, apparently we are... We were able to hit him. I don't understand how, but, you know. Hey. Whatever works. So if you guys don't know, or haven't really realized it, the effects you gain from a dungeon... Oh, oh yeah, well, we didn't finish anything else, did we? But the effects you gain from a dungeon... You do keep those, so let's say if an uh, enemy burns you one round, it's just like, 
Oh, well, you're still on fire. In your next battle. So yeah, effects carry on with you outside. I'm pretty sure buffs do the same thing. I'm not sure yet. I mean, it would make sense for a buff to do the same thing. So this is the Craftsman. Yeah, this is kind of what I wanted to stop at. So now I can craft gears with all the resources I found. They could be for certain parts of my body. They could be for certain um, allies, stuff like that. I'm pretty sure I, the more we progress in, the more of them that will open up to us. So yeah, as you can see, there's a lot of stuff to do. That's one reason why I highly recommend this game. Oh, we have a magic bone on that too. Uh, hold up, let's play the lottery. Oh, we got beer out of this one. Is that mostly for the dwarf? Oh, we got another stamina potion. <laughs> All right, let's stop playing the lottery. <laughs> but yeah, guys, very fun game. I can highly recommend it, like I was saying. But until then, I will see you guys on the next one. I gotta wrap up here and peace out. Oh, I can change to my uh, <laughs> Deku symbol. Perfect. <laughs> peace out. Swear it's gonna get better real soon. <laughs> Don't let anyone tell you what you should do I got a clear view We're gonna make it soon Just keep pushing through Yo, what you got to lose? Yo, what you got to lose? Yo, what you got to lose? Just keep pushing through Cause what you got to lose?